What is up you guys? Good morning. Happy New Year. Oh my gosh, it is the new year. I just took down our Christmas tree and everything and I have so many packages to unbox and put away that were sitting here while we were gone. So we left Christmas Eve, so December 24th and we got back last night. It was actually this morning at like 7 a.m. We drove through the night. So I'm just really ready to be back in my routine to feel like I'm back home for a second. We do leave next week to go on my family Christmas trip, which is a cruise to Mexico. That'll be fun. Fun, but in the meantime, I am getting my things done. I need to go pick up my desk from Crate and Barrel today. I have all of these boxes. So right here is where I put our Christmas stuff for me to put away. Up here, those are all of my new boxes. Um, new bedside tables for JJ and I, and then console table for my office. New desk that's coming for my office. My chair is over there in that pile. A bunch of things, and then small packages from Amazon, and then I think Gymshark, 30 years, all kinds of stuff. It's a day of putting things away and getting back into my routine. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Libby. It's so nice to have you. I feel like I haven't said my intro in a long time because I was doing Vlogmas. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the party. There's a whole bunch of who knows what that happens here, but it's always a good time and I'm so happy that you're here. Happy 2023. It's going to be a big year. This is a big month. Libby turns 25, you guys. January 28th, where my Aquarius is at. Number one is this little phone stand. I'll have all of these Amazon things linked on my storefront, and then I'll also have everything else on my LTK. And this goes to my iMac, so I can just have this whole port at the front rather than having a whole port that I plug back and forth. Next up, Gymshark. These are new warp knit, I believe. I think that I got the sample of this literally so long ago and I loved it. So I'm glad that it's finally out. So this is a little crop bra. It doesn't have bra pads in there. This is the same thing. It has all of this mesh in the back here. And then I have the leggings that match. And the leggings are so nice. If you guys remember the Adidas ones that had like the whole design on the side of it, this really reminds me of them. They're super cute. The mesh that kind of opens on the side. These are gonna look so good on. There's so many different contours that you can't see when it's not on your body. All right, these you can shop with my Gymshark link. That's in my bio if you want. But I believe that these are the warp knit. 30 years. Shout out to Katie for sending me my other 30 years back. I literally was such a fan. I bought two of them and she sent me the mini. They will be releasing, I'm not really sure, um, these sweatsuits. And what I love about this is that they come in a size that is meant for long legs. You can get, I think it's like a 28 inch inseam or the 34 inch inseam on the sweats. I got the 34 and they have the dune color, which is this brown. And then they also, the raw hem, you can also cut these to whatever length you want. I'm so excited because they're actually going to be long enough on me. It's similar to what I'm wearing right now, where it has a little quarter zip, but it has a off neck moment. What I'm wearing right now is from Sisters and Seekers. Actually, it's pretty similar. I love this brown, and I love the little tapered waist. This is going in my office upstairs, but it's a little console table. I think that I might build it with y'all. I don't know where this is from, actually. I have no idea. There's a good chance I will rip it, though. Oh! It's from Gymshark. Gymshark, look at the box. Oh, it's happy holidays from your Gymshark family. Here's to an incredible 2023. Sour strips, okay, oh, they're Christmas edition. Cute, and we have, goats. oh, I love these socks. They're literally like leg warmer socks. So these are lilac, and then we got a beanie, almost my beanie season. This is cute, this I could low-key wear with what I'm wearing right now. Oh my gosh, precious. The mini lifestyle backpack. I have this in black and I gave it to JJ. He loves it, but there's this like nice rubberized front here. It's precious. And then the straps are so detailed where it has rubber that's raised and it has Gymshark all over it. Alani, and Alani is dropping a new peach flavor. I don't know if that's, yes it is. Okay, this is the cutest. Wait, you can peel something? Oh my gosh. Look at this. It says peel. Is it a sticker? Am I okay? I swear, why else would it say peel? I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but this is so cute. And then we also have the energy drinks. I am going to have to try this today. Why does it say peel? 
Was that supposed to be on there? Juicy peach. I don't know why it says peel. Anyway, I'll try these later. Don't know what else I ordered from Sephora. No way. No way. Because this said that it was delivered like at the beginning of December and I went to Sephora and purchased this. This is the Fenty Skin little lotion. This is the Flush Puddin'. This is the Laneige Trio. Y'all, I bought this all. I don't even think I got a refund for this. Nope. Anyway, this was apparently delivered um, a long time ago. Yeah. December 3rd. Guys, I literally said delivered that same week. It wasn't delivered. Today is January 2nd. Amazon. This is just quite the, this is an adventure. What do I got in here? Oh, yes. They just put everything in here. I ordered a lot from Amazon. First of all, got this cute coffee mug. Oh my God. Look at this. Is this not the cutest thing? It's a ceramic coffee mug. I also got a coffee mug warmer. Can also double as a candle warmer and I wanna use it. Oh my gosh, it comes with a mug too? But that's so cute. Anyway, I'm getting two mugs today. I can never get my candle to burn all the way through and it said that you can use this to literally defrost things. I won't be using it for that, but I did need like a little hot plate. So this will be cute. I'm gonna keep it in my office upstairs. Now I have a mug to go with it. That's precious. What is this? Oh, it's another glass coffee mug that I ordered. I really have a thing for mugs and glasses and cups. I just thought it was so cute, so I had to get it. Look at it. It's so cute. This is another set of glasses, I think. I think I went crazy and decided to get a billion of them. Look at them. I got four of these little guys, and they do match this guy. Cutie! This is my desk chair for upstairs. I'm gonna take it upstairs before I do this. And these are our new bedside tables. So I guess I will unbox these right now with you guys. They are the Cayman nightstands. I was really debating on which ones I wanted to get, so there's a lot of thought that was put into this. I don't know how I'm supposed to get this out though. to what will be my office. I have like literally nothing in here right now. This is a table that I'm about to build. And over here, I have like my iMac set up and whatnot, but it literally looks a mess because I don't have my new desk yet. And it's the tiny one that I had at the old house. So I'm going to build this baby right now. And it's gonna go over here. And then right here, I have my old paper mache that you guys probably remember from our bedroom at the Kansas house. I'm gonna hang them up above here. Colors in here are going to be very neutral like the rest of the house, but more so like black white cream that vibe and some grays and then i'll have some pops of color this i got off amazon it's just a little console table i saw pretty good reviews of it so it's so gloomy out today a chill little day back home i'm excited though i am just happy to be home tomorrow i'll pick up my desk take you guys with me and then we'll build that and put all this together ah! and then i'll show you my bedside tables downstairs i won't lie i thought she might have been a little bit you know longer but she'll work I'm gonna hang these up, I think. And I'm debating if I should do them close together because they're both like together. It's a little bit bigger. So I guess I'll split them up a little bit. And I'm gonna probably get like a plant to put in here, something like that. office chair so I'm gonna put her together I've officially retired my old one to the boys in the studio so this one's white and it's like boucle sherpa and I'm excited for it because it'll match the frames more so because it's not a pure white <laughs> I like that there's like this slight lean to it and the seat is padded. This is better than I thought it was. I like that it's also attached. Amazon kind of came through. 
and it's just like cozy. And I'm such a knee in the air type of sitter. It's got a good spin, you guys, and you can lift it if you wanted to. I like this. I think it was like $120. I don't know the exact price, but I thought that it was pretty reasonable. I'm just glad that I got these hung up and they're even and level. I'm getting better at this. I really am. So I kind of want to add a plant. I have a mirror over in this corner. This side, I don't want to show you guys. Ready, you guys? Okay, I'm giving you my OOTD. This is the new warped knit that I did like a haul of yesterday. And I I think that it looks so cute on there's this pattern on the legs where it's like textured and then it has like little holes and whatnot on it it feels more if you guys remember the flawless knit that's like from forever ago but it feels more brushed than that I think that it's precious and then the top also has little holes as well so you can see a little breathability there so it comes in this green tealish color and then I also have black as well and these are already on the site so if you want to check them out they're available to you now. I'm going to have a little bit of breakfast. I have my greens and probably coffee. And then I'm going to head to the gym. And then we're going to Crate and Barrel to pick up my new desk. This is the little mug that I'm using today. It's so precious. Got it off Amazon and it has this little plate with it. I die. <laughs> That baby is full. Are you kidding me? I'm cold. That's why I'm in my little robe. But this may not look the most appetizing, but I literally have some oatmeal and then I'm going to eat the Trader Joe's Greek yogurt. And then I have my greens in this new glass that I got. Cute. And my coffee, of course, which we've already seen. Yummy. I added peanut butter to this and usually I would add fruit, but since we just got home, we haven't been to the store. So that's, that's the reason for that. But I'm going to have my Greek yogurt too. Oh, the fridge is doing a thing where it sings to us again and... Here's my chicken, my little chicken boy. Head to the gym, and then afterwards, I'm gonna pick up my table from Crate and Barrel. And then Ajazi and I, since I'll be closer to her, we're gonna go grab some pho, some later lunch, and then I'll probably head back here, build my desk, and edit because I want to get a post up on Instagram. I haven't posted in a week on my actual feed, and that's very unlike me, but I'm charging my microphone, so I'm gonna do a mic'd up. I'm absolutely screaming because this guy in the car next to me, he is bopping, vibing, doing his thing, and like, I'm so happy for him. I'm not sure if he's putting on a show, but like, I think he's in his own world and I can get down with that. But you guys, the workout that I just did was so incredibly simple. I did deadlifts, single leg hip thrusts, reverse lunges, and then heel elevated goblet squat. I am drenched and it was such a good workout. My legs were literally quivering. I swear when you like really focus on the movement that you're doing, it makes such a difference. That was my first workout of the year and I'm feeling good since I haven't really worked out since the beginning of December. It was nice to just get back into it and kind of do a little bit of everything. Oh wow, I am so hungry. So I'm about to head out to the city. I already put my seat down in the back so i'm prepared for it i feel like the, oh there's a white birdie i feel like that just set my day up for success it's only noon right now so i'm feeling good also these leggings i think that they contributed to how good my workout was all right let's pick up this desk baby i'm literally just parking right here it says crate and barrel through gate on right side of the building right side of building is this the right side of the building babes yeah i'm not good at this but you know what picking this up at the warehouse allowed me to save 120 dollars for delivery okay here we go kansas city could never back alley vibes i'm sure that i'm bringing you guys on do you see it's the tiniest little thing it's such an experience y'all look at this i'm shook Thing. Random scissors are sending me right now. Thanks. Yay! It's giving big body bins. Remember, I used to be dusty. Y'all, this thing barely fits in my car, babes. That was so simple. If I have the ability to literally do this for everything, I don't know how often I'm gonna order from Crate and Barrel because stuff's expensive. I will be doing so. I'm so excited. I can't wait to make JJ bring this all the way upstairs for me. <laughs> now it's time to eat some pho. <laughs> I'm dead. I went to Home Goods, by the way. Bought out all the storm candles I could find, which was four of them. I don't like that. I don't like that. Trying to lug this thing up the stairs is going to be quite the task, babe. So I already had that one marble on the on the coffee table, but it has like a snowflake on it, and I needed something that was a little bit bigger. So I got there's a Wait, there's like a web on me. Anyway. I got this baby used somewhere. Like, I think I want to get a little console table to put right here for like the one in my office. Oh my god, this is wrong! He just hit the decoration! In my office to the right. Bro, just flung a water bottle over here and smashed that off the table. Thank goodness it was a fake plant. And I'm gonna put one of my little candles on here. 
Got a little storm moment going on. Got a little room spray. Remote. Literally, this is a rundown of what I've been working with since we got here. I literally just put this together like a couple of days ago, but I did bring my micro desk just so I had something until I found a desk that I wanted. But this, hi, Bubby. This is how large the desk is that I have now. Over here is where I have the little console table and whatnot. Yeah. This is my oldest mirror. This is from our very first apartment, I think. Some of you guys might remember it. <laughs> Gritty, I just thumbs I up. It. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, gritty boy. Gritty, 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 gritty. <laughs> Ross is trying to gritty. All right, this is the biggest, heaviest piece ever. And I love the drawers are hidden and they actually extend all the way to each side. And then this also folds down. So I'm so excited to organize it. It's magnetic. <laughs> video it's not considered vlogmas because it's not uploading in december before christmas anymore so it's basically my last week of december which you guys will have already watched actually but i love my little desk setup i'm gonna make some changes and improvements for sure i missed editing on my imac because i can just sit here let me tell you if you guys have an imac please get the touchpad because you can control everything from this thing and it's basically like the laptop mouse but you don't have to use this guy literally don't even have this turned on i i don't know i'm just not a mouse girly i got these little guys today at home good and the warmer over here and i have my ipad i was watching kaleidoscope my old little lamp right here we're being productive right now i just edited a new reel slash tiktok finished this youtube video just when i have this type of space it makes me so much more productive and i love it so much jj's room is next door so i can like tap on the wall if i wanted to i'm gonna upload this and get ready for bed right now it's 10 and i am trying to work on my nighttime routine my goal that i have in my my notion planner is to go to sleep by 11 this week and i think i'm on track to do that tomorrow i don't have a busy day so i think i will end up rearranging things and probably starting to edit a new video just because it'll give me something to do setting up um, my work for this month after we get back from the cruise